What's going on? Welcome back to Real World Tool Reviews. And today we're going to talk about adjustable wrenches. Can you believe we have never had a video dedicated to adjustable wrenches on this channel? We're doing crazy stuff today. We're even drinking a damn Coke Zero. But we all know that adjustable wrenches are awesome. A lot of people hate them. A lot of people think that this is the wave of the future. That these are way better and these can replace an adjustable wrench. We've done videos on that. You know that I don't believe that. So we won't we won't go back into that. Today we're just talking about adjustable wrenches. And what you see in front of you is my favorite of each size. Now I have a lot of them. We're going to talk about a lot of them. I think that the vintage USA made ones are better quality than pretty much anything you can get these days but uh first we'll go over the sizes and what my favorite ones are and then i'll start showing you the rest of the of the tub of adjustable wrenches this will be kind of like that big channel locks video i did and some of the other videos i've done where it's like dang you got a lot of adjustable wrenches but somehow they get used like almost all of them get used you know between the shop and oh there's these and then there's those <laughs> so anyway we'll talk about those two but i guess we'll just start with the big boy i did a this was in the first video i did about comparing an adjustable wrench to a nip x pliers wrench i had just bought this i paid 60 bucks for this thing on ebay and it's a beast it is a channel lock brand and it is made in Spain. And I think what that means is that it's made by a company called Iriga, who makes really good adjustable wrenches. And this is a really good adjustable wrench. I mean, it is super smooth. It is very, very tight. It does not have a lot of play up here. This is a serious, badass, 18 inch channel lock adjustable wrench. This thing's freaking awesome. It goes to about, two and a eight yeah, i think that's about what it goes to yeah or uh 53 millimeter it's kind of nice that it has the measurements on both sides but an adjust an 18 inch adjustable is not one you're going to use a lot but i have found a couple uses for it um and when you need something huge like this it really is nice to have it in the toolbox you know i've used it a couple times um you know, it's just, it's just a really neat tool, and when you need it, you need it. This is one I found recently that I did not have before. This is a forged in USA Craftsman, and uh, this is a Western Forge. You know, Western Forge made a lot of tools for Craftsman back in the day. But this 15-inch, it is super, super, it's not quite as uh, tight as that channel lock one is. But it's still really, really nice. And this is a good size right here. This 15 inch one, you really need to get a good ug a dug on something. Uh, this can do it. And it's not like this is almost comically big, you know. This is actually uh, really a good size for just when you really need to crank on something. Um, I used it the other day, tightening three quarter inch uh, female adapters on two nipples for a hot water heater for PEX. Uh, that's the way I like to hook up hot water heaters if I can is PEX with a adapter on top of the two nipples. And a big adjustable is always what I've used. And I used this the other day. I do that all the time. That's one of the main things I use these big adjustable wrenches for. And this was just perfect. It was the perfect size. It was the perfect um, tool for that. And a 15 inch adjustable. I did not have one. This is my only one. I didn't have one before I found this. And look at this beautiful craftsman. This is in such good condition. I was super happy. It was in that uh, wrench haul that I got a while ago. This is a really good size, the 15 inch. And then you got to have a 12 inch. And the best 12 inch that I own is this dime alloy, which I actually got with this in that same haul. Diamond are 
some of the best vintage adjustable wrenches you'll find. The Dime Alloy, one of the coolest brands ever. The one that makes this one so great and the diamond ones in general great is just there's so little movement up here. And that's what you want in an adjustable wrench. But look at that thick wheel. That is a big part. I don't I want this to focus. That is a big part. This part right here, the tolerance between that and the grooves that it slides in on this part. That's where your movement, that's where you get your movement. And look how thick these wheels are. It is just a, a super, super well-made tool, this diamond. And I love it. This is the best 12-inch one that I own. And then I'll skip the 10 and go straight to the 8, because the 8 is also a diamond. And this is an older one, I think. Um, that one says Dime Alloy. This one just says Diamond. Diamond Tool and Horseshoe Company. I just love these vintage diamond tools, but I've had this one for a while. I got it at an estate sale, and it's just the best 8-inch ever. It's just really, really nice. I really, really like this one. I use this one probably more than any of my other adjustable wrenches. The 8-inch is a good, a good size, and it's just like a good everyday, like a little bit longer than a 6-inch, and just grab it, and it fits in your hand good. So the diamond, you really can't beat the diamond. If you see diamond adjustable wrenches out there, pick them up because they're really great. And then I found these two recently, and they have been, I think, the best 10 and 6 that I've found. So this is a Made in the USA Armstrong. And look at that Armstrong logo. I love that. But look how beefy these are compared to, like, this one. That is a beefy handle right there, and it just feels so solid, just like all the other ones that are good. It has very little movement up here. Look at that. Same kind of thing as the diamond. A big, thick knurl. I think this is called a knurl, and it just, it really, really works smooth, really works good, and this one really fits in your hand nice. Like when you really crank on something, this does not hurt your hand at all. I really like this 10 inch adjustable wrench a lot. I, I mean, it's just really, really, really good. And same with the six. The six is just a smaller version of the 10. Same exact thing. But man, are these some nice ones. These are really, really good. I love a six inch one for working under sinks and putting little stuff together, back holding stuff, working on the truck, stuff like that. And then. These little four inch ones are great to throw like in a little quarter inch socket set or something. Um, this is a Crest Alloy Crescent Tool Company made in Jamestown, New York. I love these little guys and I have this one lives up here with my other little guys that are hanging here. I keep these up here. This, I'm going to, these, someday this will all be crescents, but this is a, a crescent 10 inch that I restored. And this one I really, really love. It really feels good. It really feels tight. It's just a perfect, perfect adjustable wrench. I really did a lot of work on this one to make it look as beautiful as it does. And, uh, it's a good one for the shop. I want to find a 12 inch, but I don't have one like those yet, but this is a Bonnie 12 inch. And this is a really good one too. It has a really good thick knurl like that. Um, really good Bonnie one. I really love this one. And then the eight inch Crescent Crest Alloy matches the 10 inch. And then I got the four inch and here's a a good old Craftsman forged in the USA, Western Forge 6 inch. I haven't found a Crescent 6 inch yet, but I keep all the sizes up here hanging just like that on the workbench. I just, I just like having them there. I use them a lot, so that's where those live. Hopefully someday they'll all be Crest Alloys. That's just the way I like to have them. So these big ones, awesome, but I'm going to get them out of the way here. And talk about 
these four sizes because these are primarily the ones that I love. Now, I love the vintage ones, but for non-vintage, if you just need a set of adjustable wrenches and you're going to the store, we've talked about this before, I love the Milwaukee's. The Milwaukee's are just a really nice... These Milwaukee's actually really remind me of the Armstrong. Like, look how thick the Armstrong is. The Milwaukee's are the same. This is a 12-inch. This 10-inch Milwaukee is similar, like really similar in design. Um, they are just awesome. They're, they have a... They're really tight here, and they have a technology which is basically extra extra grooves on the wheel or whatever. Um, whereas like this, these old school ones just have like three, four. This has one, two, three, four, five. So it has one more channel. And it makes it to where these really don't back off as much. You know how you crank on something with an adjustable wrench and then you go back to put it back on and it's loosened up and you got to tighten it back on there? It doesn't happen as much with these Milwaukee's. And they're just solid, really, really fun to use. Like, these are a really good adjustable wrench. And um, I still use them, even though I have all these good new ones. The other thing about them is, like, if you take this 10-inch and put it up against this one, they're a little bit wider of an opening on the Milwaukee's than most, you know, good vintage ones like here's my my dime alloy 12 inch and here's my milwaukee 12 inch i mean that's a significant difference now i still like using this one better because it's just smoother and it just feels better but man if you need a new set I would highly recommend these Milwaukee's. I've got the 12, 10, and 6, and they're really, really good. I've got a couple 8-inch ones. If also, a couple that I would highly, highly recommend for a new purchase is going to be the Baco. These Baco ones are really, really nice. Um, they are the same as a Snap-on. Snap-on owns Baco, and they're very similar to the Snap-on ones. The Snap-on ones are shinier, chrome, and stuff like that. But, man, these eight I love the 8-inch version that opens this wide. I mean, that's awesome, you know. When you compare it to this 8-inch, I mean, it's crazy. It looks like it could eat this one. But it also is not really, like, as it's a little more cumbersome because of these long jaws and the wide head, but it's a super, super nice, super, super good adjustable wrench. I keep this one in my plumbing pouch because sometimes you just got to open way up wide to get around like a, a bigger kind of weird plumbing fastener. And this one just comes in handy all the time for like cartridge packing nuts on, uh, tub valves or sinks and stuff like that. I just love this one. And then I keep this one in my HVAC setup. And this one's the same way. It's made, it's a channel lock. And it's made by this same company in Spain, Iriga. And it opens super wide too. A very similar concept to the Baco. I like the Baco better than this. Mo mostly, I just don't like this handle. I don't like this, the code blue handle is what they call this. Um, I just don't like it. It's just too sticky and weird, and I would rather this be off of it. I might cut it off because I just don't like it, but this is a good one too. Just not as good as the Baco. I would recommend this Baco over the channel lock for sure. But these, if you're going to go brand new, these are good, good, good ones. Baco, Milwaukee, and Channel Lock. All really high quality adjustable wrenches. And uh, I've seen this. I've showed you guys this one before. 
I restored this one from looking just totally terrible. But this neural is cracked, if you can see that. And it's super, super loose here because there's supposed to be like a spring or something in here. So anyway, I was hoping I would find another one of these someday. Crescent. And I did. This crescent looks very similar to what this crescent used to look like. And But it's the same way. This is not broken like the other one is. But it's very loose. Like a lot of movement. But this is like a... I love the, the beefiness of this big one. And I saw a Scout Crafter video one time where he put like a little tiny washer in here on the pin that slides in. I'm going to try and do that. I'm going to try and restore this uh, nice old Crescent Tool Company one and have this, you know, real wide jawed. I, I just think this is like a, a, a super solid, nice 12 inch. So someday I'll have that to go along with my other 12 inch ones. And, you know, you got your craftsmen's. I got a bunch of these. I found a bunch. I've, I sell these ones on eBay a lot when I find them because people will buy these. You know, you get like a 10 and a 6 or something, Craftsman USA, and they'll sell for 20, 25 bucks on eBay all day long. You know, so I always like to look out for good, solid, adjustable wrenches. Here's a, a Bonnie one. A six inch. This is a really nice one. It's the same as that. I found these two at the same time. These were in that Kennedy toolbox tool hall. And I love these. They're really, really good. But I put this uh, yellow plasti dip on this one. I keep this one in my daily tool bag. And it goes with a couple other little yellow pliers and stuff. And it's just a really nice little. You know, I, I keep these little six ones, little six inch adjustable wrenches all over the place because they're just they're just super handy. So as you can see, I'm a big fan. <laughs> uh, here are a couple that I would not recommend. Chinese Crescent. We all know that I hate these. <laughs> um, these were in my I hate these tools video. And I do. I hate these tools. These suck. Do not get a new crescent wrench. A brand new Chinese crescent wrench sucks. Don't buy these. Here's a budget one that is actually pretty good. The vice grip, the Irwin um, vice grip ones. This one has really not let me down. I've had it for a long time, and it... Uh, it just kind of keeps on keeps on going. It's a solid one. It's not as jiggly as the other one, although it is pretty jiggly. Like, it's not great. But sometimes you need an adjustable wrench. You know what I've used this one for a lot? In the shop, trying to take handles off. Like, when I... Uh, when I took this handle off of a screwdriver so that I could put it on my ratchet for my... SK Ratchet Restoration. I uh, I took a screwdriver and put it in the vise like this. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. Sorry. So anyway, I had it in the vise like this, and I I put the adjustable right here and just beat that handle off and you know it's good to have a beater adjustable wrench and that's what that one is for me it's my beater adjustable wrench but it's it's kind of it's kind of stood the test of time uh, these Irwin tools they're really not bad tools like they're they're cheap they're way better than some of the other Chinese shit you can get, you know. So a budget brand new one, something like this is good. And the last thing I guess I want to talk about with adjustable wrenches is I have used this kind forever. 
I just found this really nice diamond one. And this is a beautiful one. I hardly even want to use it because it's so, like, whoever had it, I don't think ever used it. It's in perfect condition, and it's beautiful. This was the one I had before with my electrical tape handle. And I don't know what brand this one is, but it's, you know, it's pretty nice. I found it at an estate sale or something, like, a long, long time ago. I've had this one for a long time. But sometimes this angle just comes in handy and is what you need and the other thing about it is this one really opens up wide for a 10 inch like super wide so you know here's a regular 10 inch even the milwaukee 10 inch doesn't even come close to this so Sometimes having the old school kind actually really comes in handy to get up in there in that right angle. It actually has saved my butt a few times. So they're really great. And these old diamond tools, like I always say, they're great. This diamond one, look how look how far this one goes down. I mean, that's pretty crazy that you would need to use this one like that. But, you know, just cool to have and you never know you never know when it'll come in handy um man you know a 20 minute video about adjustable wrenches might not be everybody's cup of tea but i tell you what they're just great tools we've been using them for you know a hundred years or something and i just can't live without them like Everybody always says that they round stuff off and if yeah, if you if you use them like a like you're trying if you're trying to replace your wrench set with adjustable wrenches, yeah, you're going to round off a bunch of stuff. But man, I'll tell you what, in there they have their place and when you have one of these, you're just going to be so glad all the time. Everybody that's why everybody uses them still. They're in everybody's kitchen drawer, you know. It's because they work and they've been like this for a long time. They're not, they, they don't need to change that much because they just work. And, you know, stuff like this is cool, but it will never replace a good old adjustable wrench. It just won't. That's the way I feel about it. One of the greatest tool designs, tool inventions of all time. And that's just the way I feel about it. So, anyway. That's our video about adjustable wrenches. We finally did it. So let me know what your favorite adjustable wrenches are, uh, whether you love adjustable wrenches or hate them or what your favorite ones are. And thanks for watching.